Hey everyone, so I'm starting a new video series called, um, What Would Mewi Do? I, I, I guess. Uh, so gotta think about it. But anyways, um, it's like those games where, you know, players just show their games and show how good they are and, and how well they, um, play the game. But in my case, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through every decision I make. Uh, I'm gonna pause and edit the video according to how I talk it. This is no script. This is not a live stream. This is just me going through some old footage and posting what I think is interesting and explaining every kind of decision I make. So in this case, this is the anomaly where all the gold, where the gold starts at 10 gold since the very beginning. And my choices is between Infinite Toki or Master Nguyen. So we got Beast, Murloc, Naga, Quillboard, Undead. The biggest thing to me is... um. Which hero best utilizes the anomaly? See, the thing is, the minions don't matter too much because if they're Toki, Master Nguyen, they can do any tribe. So that's fine. Throw that out the window, don't care about it. What matters is the 10 gold. So because everybody starts with 10 gold, you can power level pretty fast. Uh, everybody should be leveling up until you get to tier 4. Um, and by that point, that becomes a really strong advantage that Toki has over any other player. Because then she can get a tier 5 before anyone else. While Master Nguyen can do a bunch of crazy things, the consistency of getting a tier 5 or even a tier 6 is going to be key to how I win the game. Okay, so remember this is a 10 gold lobby. I know normally most players would buy the tier 1, use the coin, and get another tier 1. But because Toki is just, you know, incredibly powerful with how her hero power works, finding a really strong tier 3 could be better than getting two tier 1s. And in my case, getting Monstrous Macaw is going to be important down the line. Mostly because there's a lot of death rattles that are really important in this uh, game. Murlocs, Undeads, Beasts, of course. So, next turn comes in, um, I hear a power once again, and I see Sly Raptor. Probably the best tier 4 I could probably ask for in this occasion, especially because I have Monstrous Macaw, and this sets me up for a potential beast build. So, we win the game, luckily. Okay, so my decision here... Um, there's a bunch of tier 2s we could upgrade and we could just buy one upgrade or we could buy one of these cards and hero power. Um, in hindsight, I shouldn't have bought the tier 2 because the thing is I was thinking about how it's always going to be scaling up because we got Sly Raptor and we got Monstrous Macaw. But I forgot, you know, if I just hero power, I could possibly get um, better options. But, luckily, as I can see, um, while there is a good number of tier 4s that I would like to get, they're not really too important. What I do see is another potential for a second build. So, the thing is, I like to keep myself flexible. And the reason for that is that, if let's just pretend I never get Banana Slamma, I never get Mama Bear. I could still go towards a Quillboard build. And even if Monsters Macaw whiffs completely and never hits the Sly Raptor, which, you know, <laughs> could totally happen, um, it can activate the Death Rattle for uh, the Quillbore, Prickly Piper. Um, and, you know, this will let me have a chance at getting, uh, doing a Quillbore build down the line if, that, if it, that's necessary. Um, I'm also completely not worried at how the fights are going to go just because Sly Raptor is such a big, big, powerful card. Most of the time it will win me the game just for having it for the first couple of times I I get it. It's just a really good tempo card. Alright, so now that we have the goal, we can upgrade hero power. And wow, you know, two really important cards. Uppy Duo is really key for trying to make builds trying to triple trying to get golden cards while pale scale crocolis very strong card 
definitely worth a freeze with 100% like I can't think of another car right now that is just like it's better than most of the cards out like of course I'd like Mama Bear yeah I want Banana Slamma but I'd rather take Pale Scale Crocolis than the other options Upbeat Duo however was a better pick to get now because I just need this to immediately start working and this could potentially get me triples and win conditions. So fights are usually just, you know, I, I'm not I'm not sweating of if I'm going to lose or not. I don't think I'll lose. And even if I do, it's not going to be a big deal. So here's some advice for everybody when it comes to fights, right? You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, you don't gain anything from watching. Besides knowing what your opponent is doing. Like, if you really need to counter the build, cool. But in this in this moment of the game, it's really not that important. It's best to use that time to think and strategize what you're going to do next. Alright, so uh, next turn comes. I want Pale Scale, of course. Let's Hero Power again. And now I see, oh, hey, Drakari Enchanter. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to definitely triple something next turn let's see let's see what it is it's most likely going to be pale scale crocolis there is a nice chance that it could be faceless disciple but i'm thinking that i could probably turn whatever i get from hero power into a tier six and then we can you know see where we can go from there so right now here the problem is that monstrous macaw um is going to mess up like it, it's going to if it hits Sly Raptor, there's no space. If it hits Prickly Piper, right now, I think we're going full on the beast. So um, it's not really important to hit that. But I think that's fine because like, I think my idea is that, well, hey, if they hit me first, then I can hit Sly Raptor. If I go first, well, it's fine. You know, it could even hit probably Pale Scroll Crocolis. That, that, that is a death rattle. It's fine. I don't want to put like a thing in front of it just to make sure Sly Raptor comes out. It's not too important. Okay, so we managed to win. Now we have a golden pale scale. And this is just the perfect time to upgrade because this is just it's a huge swing in tempo. Just to get that pale scale golden right out there. We can get a tier 6 before anybody else. And, you know, Tragra is very tempting. Because we have Drakari Enchanter and we've been buffing everything. All the blood gems with Prickly Piper. So we don't need Monsters Macaw. That's 100% for sure. We don't need that card. Um, and what do we see? Another Chagra. So, you know, uh, we didn't need the other card but getting a second Tragra is huge so now we're transitioning and this is why being flexible is so important i whiffed getting octasari i whiffed getting um what's his name fell stomper but i'm getting quillbore stuff and luckily i've been getting prickly piper's effect to go off so we can do quill bores now and it's funny because the jacari enchanter and the upbeat duo has been such important pickups for this to work out now i'm done i'm done with beast i don't particularly think i need to do the whole banana slime of beast thing especially when i got an opponent like this who has all the beast card it seems but i can start switching to quill bores and I just need to find some certain cards. I got the most important card. I got the second most important card to, to accompany it. What I do need now is to make sure that I can get the Quill Bores and I can get Moon Bacon Relaxer. So that, you know, Chagra is giving health too. <laughs> All right. So I see Bongo Bopper. And then while I'm not Beast, right? New Zhao is a really good card. To, uh, to get all that attack from. And funnily enough, I see Bristlebok. You know, this is very, very interesting. Now, Bristlebok is a build that you need um, Tough Tusk film. I don't have any single Tough Tusk, so the Avenge is not going to do 
too much. It's really nice, though, because we are getting attack per um, extra attack on everybody and, and some health. But it's 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 not too important. What is important is Bongo Bopper getting me some blood gems. Dracari Enchanter being tripled. I know we could triple the, like, Chagra. But, like, we could do that later. Because we're keeping these two cards anyways. And Neo Zhao getting all the attack for it to blow up indirect damage to our opponent okay so our opponent is has a lot of stats really good stats oh but it doesn't matter when a lot of our mains have really good stats so we're gonna we're going to lose and that sucks but look how much we're going to outscale them. They don't really have that much scaling going on. So we got that triple. We got this card, the Necrolite, and we got another Chagra. So we lose, sure, whatever. Let's just let's just throw that out. Let's triple the Chagra. Let's see what we get. And we don't really get a whole lot of anything, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. We can get that Murloc just because you know it's a good card. Captain Flat Tusk, interesting, interesting card, but I really want to get the Orgazora just because it gives me economy. I don't need Captain Flat Tusk because there's just I have so many blood gems as it is. Uh, the Rylak Metalhead is very interesting, and I did consider it, but I think the Moon Bacon Relaxer kind of scaling with it is just a bit too slow. We already have all the blood gems we need. I think the best case scenario I can do right now is to just buy the cards uh buy, buy the moon bacon relaxer i mean uh whenever it shows up and let's try to triple this prickly piper somehow some way more attack is always good because i can just give uh neo Zhao all the attack in the world and luckily you know we're facing a dead guy so it's not too much of a threat i'm very confident in how we're going to um how we're gonna win this fight He's very weak, which is unfortunate because this means that we only got one proc of Prickly Piper, but it is what it is. It's not too important anymore because just how much stats we're busting out. So we see Captain Flectus again. Don't really need it. Now we see the trip of Prickly Piper. So let's get some blood gems because our hand's full. Let's roll just, you know, just to be safe. You never know. Um, okay, so we just whiff again. It doesn't really matter too much because the only tier 6 we would like is another Chagra. We don't really need more Bristlebok, especially because we don't have a Tough Tusk. What we really do want to find, though, is something to replace the Upbeat Duo and some other cards that can really synergize with all of this Blood Gems. Going to put Stealth just in case. You know, Stealth is always nice because if for some somehow they snipe it then you know that's a huge loss on your part but you know stealth prevents that stealth lets it be safe until it comes out so yeah so we're really lucky because we see the triple neo Zhao. and i think this might be a mistake on my part actually it might be best in our case if i were to triple the neo Zhao, then get the other copies this way i have multiple neo Zhaos just blowing up my opponent I think tripling the bongo bopper was very short-sighted because I didn't realize just how much my hand is going to be filled with blood gems. And I know that's a nice thing, but it's a bit unnecessary because the amount of attack we are dealing is not like it's more than these undead and beast cards are going to get. So it's just it's a bit too much, really unnecessary. So we noticed Silas isn't really that much of a threat. He has undeads, but they're not really super highly scaled. Um, nothing to be afraid about. So all that's left to be afraid of is Reno. And we notice Reno is beast. So because Reno is beast, I'm going to get Zap just in case. If he has a Titus or a Banana Slammer that he wants to protect, I can counter that. These triples are really not too important. What's more important is to get their effects off. I'm, I don't know why I'm getting the Bristle Block. I really... I'm at the point where it's like, what cards do I really need? It's just Moonbacon Relaxer, honestly. And I guess cards that give me Blood Gems. 
it's not too important but you know this is a case where i i made a mistake where i should have emptied out my hand because i'm getting a lot of blood gens from bongo bopper and i just did not realize that my hand was gonna be full and i'm honestly wasting space just having these cards in my hand i'm never gonna use a bristle block so i'm not really too sure there's no real reason to keep it in my hand i'm never gonna play the second bongo bopper because my hand's already gonna be filled with blood gems anyway so small mistakes but at this point it really doesn't matter so reno is the only opponent that we should be afraid of but as we can see he doesn't really have that much stats what he does have is a lot a lot of uh banana slamma stuff he has a golden banana slamma a regular banana slamma so he can summon a lot of big beast and that's really nice if i didn't have a gigantic ninozao so because of that case i um completely destroy his build like i just destroy it there's really nothing he could do so what am i thinking right now i'm just trying to improve my build in any way i can i I am too confident right now that I can completely destroy both my opponents. Um, Moonbaker Relaxer is nice. Uh, getting another Trogro is nice. Getting another you know, Zhao is nice. But it's just like, it's whatever. It really doesn't matter too much. Like, I don't know why I want to triple the Bristle Block. It's so pointless. It's so, so unnecessary. It's It doesn't matter. And I'm just getting the Necrolite because why not? I, oh right, I didn't even get the Bristle Block because my hand is filled with Blood Gems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so be careful of that. Always keep aware of what your cards are doing. Because it, it, it is a mistake. It's a minor mistake because it doesn't matter because I'm going to win the game. But it's a mistake nonetheless. So, you know, always be careful. Always learn. Alright, so as expected, Silas loses. Um... All I want now are Nagas that give a lot of like special effects like Divine Chill or Stealth or a second Neo Zhao, which I find. So let's just uh, throw away that upbeat duo. We're keeping Bristle Ball because why not? It is better than Bristle um, Upbeat Duo in terms of its abilities. Let's move all the stats to Neo Zhao from Prickly Piper with Necrolite. Let's get more Blood Gems because, you know, why not? You can never have too much. Um, play this, get Razor Fen, Geomancer, and just hike up this new Neo Zao with a crap load of stats. More stats than an Austin honestly need, but hey, whatever. And as expected, I just completely destroy. He has a Leroy, which is smart because, you know, if my Neo Zao hits it, it's dead. But I, it, it doesn't really matter because it... He has a lot of stats, don't get me wrong, but it's just not enough. I have a lot of minions who are big, and even a card that has terrible base stats could destroy his small, his biggest minion. And of course I have the Neo Zao that just do indirect damage. So, that's um, how I look at the game, how I play the game, how I strategize, what I'm, what I'm looking for, how I think forward, how I plan ahead. Um, I think the most important thing was that I kept my build flexible. I know we were going for beasts, but it doesn't always happen. I know a lot of players out there see that you are, you start off with a certain tribe and you just, you just go, yeah, yeah, I'm beast. I'm beast from now on. But I kept myself flexible. I had Prickly Piper the entire game, almost the entire game. And this opened up the avenue for going Quillbores. And I know it's kind of strange because I was high rolling. It may have not necessarily needed to be Quillbore, but I knew what I had to do to get to use the cards that I was given, right? So the tier sixes, um, even if it was some other tier sixes, I'm sure I could have made it work because I knew what cards to throw out, what cards to focus for, and what cards I needed to work together so that I can high roll and get a lot of big stats and triples and golden minions. My opponents, they played well, but I just play better. Um, I hope this all helps you out. And if you have any questions, please leave a message in the comment section. Give a like, subscribe, and 
I hope to see you all climb.